The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the right side view of the tool holder which is project 4.4 in Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD. The um, right side view looks like a rectangle for the most part with some lines in it. It, it should go fairly quickly and uh, of course it's going to be the same width as the top view is and the same height as the front view. So the height of the front view is 2.75 and the width of the top view is 2.5 so if we come up 2.75 and over 2.5 that would be the size of our rectangle. Now the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by locating the first corner of that rectangle right over here and uh, a quick way to do that would be to use the line command and then type TT which stands for temporary track point so you type TT and press enter and then you would put your mouse right here until it says endpoint and follow that across with the polar tracking and when you see the X you would want to come straight down and then you want to come over here and put your mouse right at that corner and then follow that polar tracking line over until it intersects with the other polar tracking line and pick right there and that would be the corner of your rectangle. So you could either go straight down at that point to that corner and straight across to this corner and straight up and I want to acquire that endpoint right there and pick right there and then come straight across right there and then press escape. Now look what I did. I drew that on the center layer and so that's not a problem. I need it to be on the visible layer so what I'm going to do is I'm, I've pressed escape. I'm not in a command. I'm going to pick above and to the left of that rectangle that I just drew. I'm going to pick right there then I'm going to let go of my mouse and then I'm going to come all the way over here to the right and below and pick again. And by doing that it selects everything that was completely enclosed by that pick box that I just drew. And then I'm going to come up to my layer control and pick on the down arrow and select visible and press escape and that moves that to the visible layer. So if you ever draw something on the incorrect layer you just need to pick it and then go change it by picking on the layer it should be on. Now what I'm going to do is come up to my layer control, pick on the down arrow and set visible as my current layer and now press escape. So I know I'm going to have a line that comes straight across here which would project from this line so let's go ahead and put that line in. I'm going to pick on the line command I'm going to put my cursor right here, follow it across, pick right there and come straight across and pick right there and press escape. Now I'm going to have two vertical lines that represent the ends of the slot in the right side view and I'm going to project those through the miter line so I'm going to pick on the line command I'm going to type TT, temporary track point, and press enter and I'm just going to put my mouse right here at that corner in the top view follow the dotted line across, pick at the X, come straight down, pick at that intersection, pick at that perpendicular right there and then press escape and that's where that line will be. If you press enter it will take you back to the line command but remember we need to do the temporary track point again so you can just type TT and press enter and you can go to that corner this time of the slot park there until it says endpoint, follow the dotted line across pick when it finds the intersection, follow the dotted line down this time, pick at that intersection and then pick at the perpendicular and press escape. And so now we have the two visible lines representing the opening for the slot. Alright, now it appears that everything else we're going to see is either going to be a hidden line or a center line. So we need a hidden line that would project across from here straight across. So let's change our layer to the hidden layer pick on that, pick on the line command and just come put your mouse at that corner until it says endpoint and follow the dotted line pick at that intersection, come across, pick at that perpendicular and press escape and so there is the top of the plane that we see right here. Now all we're missing is the boss that goes in here and of course the boss is going to be hidden in this view 
and the boss will have that hole that goes through it. We can see that right over here if we look in the side view and how that shows. So then we'll have a center line coming down through there. Now, there's several ways we could do that, but uh, I want to show you the quick way to do that. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit by scrolling my mouse wheel. And I'm going to use the, uh, the way that a smart drafter would probably do this. I'm going to use the copy command. So here's my copy command. It's also like located right up here on your modify. It's the uh, two circles with a little arrow pointing between them. So when you pick on copy, you're prompted to select objects. So I'm going to pick the center line. I'm going to pick that line, that visible line, the visible line on the other line, on the other side, that hidden line, and that hidden line. And at that point, that's all I need. So I'm going to press enter. Now I'm prompted for a base point, and I'm going to pick right there where the center line intersects at that visible line. I'm just going to pick right there. And then I'm going to move across, and you can see it's making a copy of all those things and coming straight across. And because this is centered on this view, when I see the triangle that represents the midpoint of that hidden line that I went across there, so I'm going to move across, and you can see there's the triangle. Once you see the triangle, just pick right there and then press escape. Now if I zoom in on that you can see that I've centered that boss on this view which is exactly what needs to happen but that these lines are not hidden lines yet and they should be and so I'm going to show you a, a quick way to make those hidden lines. If you come up here you're going to see an icon that says match properties. Pick on the match properties icon and you're prompted to select the source object and what you want to do is just pick a hidden line. So I'm just going to pick on any hidden line that's there. I'm going to pick on that line and then it says select the destination objects. I'm going to pick that visible line, I'm going to pick the top visible line and I'm going to pick the visible line on the right hand side and then I'm going to press escape. Now what could be easier than that right there? Not many things. So uh, Hopefully you'll uh, try that using the copy command. I'm going to do an undo and a couple of undos actually and undo all that. And so there it is. It's gone now. I'm going to show you a quicker way to pick all those pieces that you want to do your copy with. When you select on the copy command and it says select objects, if you start a rectangle that's above all those objects and just to the left of those objects, so I want to be above and right in this area here. If I pick right there and then let go of my mouse and bring my mouse over to the right and down. You can see as I get all the way below that center line, all those things that I want to copy highlight, so I just pick right there. So by drawing that window that completely enclosed just these objects here, only those objects were selected. Now, AutoCAD still thinks I might want to select some more objects, but I don't, so I'm just going to press Enter and now it's going to ask me for the base point. I would snap to that intersection right there, drag that across over to here, and when I see my midpoint again, I'm just going to pick and then press escape. Use match properties again. You can pick any hidden line you want and then just pick the three visible lines that you want to be hidden and press escape like that. And so that would be another way to use the copy command uh, where we're not selecting all our parts individually.